so I wanted to talk to you about uh, blepharospasm today. Blepharospasm is another medical condition that's actually FDA approved for the treatment of Botox. Um, what is blepharospasm? It's actually a really quite common condition in which there's a tick or a twitch or a blinking of the eye or, and it involves the eye muscles and the eyelid muscles sometimes. Um, it's actually quite common when someone is stressed or tired. It happens very intermittently, but occasionally someone gets really concerned because it starts becoming more persistent of an issue. About 50,000 people uh, seem to have this issue that becomes more persistent. And believe it or not, Botox has been approved for over 25 years to treat the condition. It's been approved since 1989. And uh, a couple common causes uh, of blepharospasm are increased sensitivity to sunlight and really dry, arid environments. So you can definitely use sunglasses to help prevent uh, sensitivity to the eyes and to help you from squinting when you're outside. And you can use artificial tears if you're in an area that's really dry and arid and you notice you have a spasm of the eye or the eyelid. Um, for those who the, that doesn't seem to help or improve, there's other oral medications and you can also try Botox, which is typically prescribed by an ophthalmologist or a neurologist for the twitching of the eye or blepharospasm. Typically about 20 to 28 units per side is used and it's injected into similar muscles that is used for cosmetic reasons, but in a different way. Um, so usually about 20 to 28 units provides relief for about three to six months um, for the patients affected with a medical condition of blepharospasm. So if you have more questions, you can check out our blog at Skin by Lovely, um, where you can check out uh, treatment for Botox and blepharospasm. There's a great website um, by Allergan, and also ophthalmology or neurology would be the physicians to consult if you have a concerning blepharospasm condition. Thanks.